Good afternoon and welcome everybody. I'm Dr. Biricotti, I'm a surgeon, and today I speak about volumetric facial restoring, jawline and tear through. So facial anatomy, uh, the facial, it extends from lower border of mandible and to the hair line, forehead is common for face and scalp, and it extends laterally to the ear auricle. Layers of the face are that the skin, it is thick, has a rich blood supply, so rapid healing. And superficial fascia contains muscles, vessels, and nerves of the face. No deep fascia in most of the face to allow for facial expression. Uh, facial muscles, the thin flat muscles connected to the dermis of the skin, innervated by the facial nerve, considerable individual variation, often blend into each other, relaxed skin tension lines run perpendicular to the direction of muscle fibers. So forehead muscles, frontalis, mm -hmm. procerus, corrugator superficially, and orbicularis oculi. Nose muscles are nasalis, depressor septi nasi, and levator labi superioris, aliquot nasi. The lips muscles, we can divide it into three groups. Uh, the first group uh, are uh, the muscle insert into medullus, groups two insert into upper lip and group three insert into lower lip. And the nerve supply of the face, uh, uh, we can divide it into two branches, sensory and motor. For the sensory, by branches of trigeminal nerve, except the skin covering the angle of mandible, supplied by the great auricular nerve. And we can divide the sensory nerve in three branches, so ophthalmic division, maxillary division, and mandibular division. For motor by facial nerve, which supplies all muscles of the face except the levator palpebralis superior by oculomotor. And we can divide uh, the motor nerve in five branches. So sensory supply, uh, sensory branches of the trigeminal nerve course superficially are prone to damage. So, however, most of the resulting sensory dysfunction is not debilitating because of collateral sprouting of nervous sensory nerves. Knowledge of sensory nerve anatomy is useful for regional anesthesia and nerve blocks. So very important in the activity of surgeon and medical treatment. Artery supply, the face is supplied by branches of the external carotid and internal carotid artery. So two main branches of the external carotid, facial artery and superficial temporal artery, and main branches of the internal carotid that supplies the medical upper face and scalp is the ophthalmic artery. In this Im image, we can see uh, the masseter muscles and the facial artery and facial vein that are very, very important because uh, this structure uh, the term, the deadline for the doctor, for the surgeon. So it's very important to know this to avoid uh, the important uh, complications like ischemia. So in this image, we can see the ischemia after treatment, after injection of uh, hyaluronic acid into the vessels. So what happens over the years? Uh, in the face and in the excused area of body with the passing of the years, involuntary changes happen, such as photo aging induced by solar radiation and muscular aging, the structural modification of muscle fibers. So all this happens together with the physiological chrono aging present in every individual and dependent on genetic characteristics. So with aging, we are witnessing a structural failure of the whole body characterized in the woman from ptosis of the face, of breast and abdomen. But this also happens in a man, so like famous actors like Arnold Schwarzenegger or so on. So 
what to do stop the time this is the answer but it is impossible so the main concept that the uh, doctor uh, has to uh, be is the harmony the concept of the measure and the correctness proportion is fundamental to correct the photo aging and the aging so the structural change in the face with age the first is that the skin and subcutaneous tissue thin volume decrease, decreases muscle tone and change the projections. In this image, we can see the decrease in bone tissue of the patient, decreased soft tissue quality and decrease in projection. So the molar eminences has a double function, the physiognomy and structure. On the face, if the bizygomatic diameter is greater than the begonial diameter, the image of the face is projected upwards and the appearance is more youthful. So we must reverse the triangle to return to a younger face. Solution. So surgical treatment or medical treatment. In surgical treatment, we can do lifting, lipofilling, prosthesis implant, and in medical treatment, filler, botox, and so on. Uh, but what are our patients looking for? Uh, absolutely improving their face and their body, but with safe and non-invasive method with a rapid resumption of the daily activities. So in my opinion, I think that uh, for the patient, uh, uh, the first treatment to do is the medical treatment. Management pretreatment, which volume does the patient wish? How many vials are necessary? How many treatments are needed? So it's important to make clear the limits of the method regarding the archivable results. Calculate the necessary number of vials and their distribution. Plan largest increases in more subsequent treatments. So what to do? Uh, first step is restoring face volume, injecting volumetric fillers into specific areas of the face, like zygomatic arc, jawline, and mandibular angle. In this way, a medical face lifting is obtained. Step two, fill deep lines, erasing the sides of the triangle, obtained the total reverse of the triangle, like tier two, temples, low lines and marionette lines. So this is my patient is a female of 77 years old and we can see in uh, down image before the treatment and upside the after the treatment of the facial restoring uh, by the fillers. Second patient is female 42 years old and we can see before and after volumetric facial restoring. Uh, in this patient, I, I perform a treatment of the zygomatic arc, the jawline and the chin and the superior lips to change uh, and to give a new harmony. So jawline. For uh, restoring the jawline, uh, usually uh, we have to perform the treatment uh, using five uh, point of access point, uh, five uh, areas of injection. Uh, the first is the uh, mandibular angle. Uh, the second step is the areas above the uh, mandibular angle. Third step is the medial line of the jawline. This is in, uh, in red, the color is red because this is, is very dangerous area because uh, uh, here there is the uh, facial artery and facial vein. So it's very important to have very careful. Uh, the, the step four is the point uh, below the um, marionette line and the uh, last point is the chin so in the other uh, slide we can see uh, the same picture but without the skin so it's very important that in the third point uh, do, don't use the needle because it's very important don't create a, a damage of the artery, of the facial artery. So usually the third point I perform by a cannula, 
25 gauge cannula uh, and not uh, the needle. So uh, this is the patient before and after treatment uh, in uh, which we can see the difference after the treatment of the jawline. So uh, mandibular angle, medial jawline and the chin is very important. Second patient is the same, very important the change after the treatment on the chin. And the line of the jawline is very uh, straight and not like before the treatment. And the last patient in which I perform a treatment of the uh, zygomatic arc and uh, jawline with the angular of mandibular and the chin. Okay, so the second chapter of today is the tear throw. Uh, a tear throw is a deep crease between the lower eyelid and upper cheek. It can cast a shadow below eyes, resulting in a tired appearance. So in certain individuals, tear throw are an inherited trait. In other, tear throw become more prominent with age. So the goal of the tear throw filler is to reduce the depth of a tear throw. But a very attention that the tear throw fillers aren't FDA approved uh, in USA and their use is considered off label. So it's very important uh, uh, from point of view of the insurance. So very attention to this treatment. Uh, the use of cannula 25 gauge is fundamental for this uh, type of treatment to avoid hematoma, echemosis, and the pain uh, of the patient. This is the treatment. So we can see before and after treatment. We can see the tear through uh, in the image uh, and after treatment that the teatro is very, very, very time, very small. Other patient, the same treatment by cannula and another patient before and after. And one more. Okay, so this is my presentation and uh, I think that we